um, it shows that we have tremendous grit, tremendous determination. We have we practice really well. Um, one thing that I told the team um, today is that we, pr we prepared really well this week. You know, we had a great week of preparation, and they factored into our success today. And I told them, you know, what's so important about preparation is that you don't fall back. I mean, you fall back to your level of training, you don't rise to the occasion. And I thought that was so important for our guys to recognize that and build off of that. So I'm proud of the guys for getting this win. We played a tremendous team in Georgia. And so, you know, it's all about the 24-hour rule and enjoying this win. What statement do you think you made about yourself as a passer? You're hitting throws at all levels, and you scored four touchdowns against the a Georgia team that hadn't given up a touchdown all season. I have a great coaching staff that believes in me. I have teammates that believe in me. That's all that matters. Um, and, you know, I try to do my best, you know, any play call that's asked of me, just try to maximize that play call as much as possible and be the best version of myself each and every day. Um, I have the opportunity to snap a ball um, at the University of Alabama. So um, I just take credit to um, Coach, Coach Sheridan, Coach DeBoer, and trusting in me, believing in me each and every day. Um, I think that's so important throughout the offseason, just the communication aspect of um, OC and head coach. And I think that's so important um, to help me out and also just being um, a better quarterback. What are your Good thoughts boy. on the freshman impact of Xavier and Brown Ryan Williams tonight? Recruiting. <laughs> nah, but uh, no, nah, they did a really good job for us. Um, one thing I can say about those guys, they work really hard, you know, and I'm all about a guy um, working in the dark. You know, I see them working on their craft at the practice. I see them communicating amongst each other. Um, they, do really, they do a really good job constantly trying to build, um, acknowledging that they're not a finished product. I think that's so important um, for our football team. Just keep on climbing. And as we talk about those two, they do a really good job of doing so. I believe that you have in Ryan Williams in those big moments, though. Um, is that some, what has garnered that like, level of belief, that you know, attention, that he deserves those big moments, that you're finding him in those big moments? So I got to always factor in you know, what's going on during the week. When we have a good prep week, it leads to the success on the weekends. And I thought he did a really good job practicing this week. You know, I can tell that he was truly detail-oriented in his approach throughout the whole week. Um, also taking command of the offense in a sense of when he has a rep, trying to do it as best as, best as his ability. Um, and I think that is so important for Ryan as we continue to go on this path um, of a season. It's just he, him constantly just getting better. And I thought he did a really good job for us just being very explosive and also just having ball dominance. What was your message to the team after Georgia took the lead? One more time. What was the message to the team after Georgia took the lead? Finish. You know, we talk about core values of a football team, right? And it was no better opportunity than to put on display our core values than the end of the game. I think that's so important um, for our football team. Just fall back to our core values, reflect on that, build on that, constantly just grow. I think that's so important, and that's something that we try to do um, today. And, you know, we acknowledge that it takes 60 minutes to defeat any opponent, and that took place today. Super proud of the guys, super proud of our commitment, super proud of our determination, and we just truly saw our grit today. You talk about your coaching staff to, and the faith tonight. that they have in you. How important was it to make a statement that you guys haven't lost a step under divorce guidance? Not really wasn't a statement. It was more acknowledging that all the hard work that you put do in the dark, is going to shine at some point and it came out and shined today and it was a great opportunity for our football team to put in display um the offseason grind you know when you you know simplify the offseason you have so many opportunities to grow as a football team and what's unique about the offseason is there's no shot clock and so within that time frame you have opportunities to build grow and all the preparation during the, this week wasn't for this weekend it came back from offseason constantly growing as a football team coming together and acknowledging that, you know, it's a process to everything, trusting the process, the, you know, the cliche motto, you know, trust the process. I think that's so important um, in factor in today. Could you go through the bomb there to, to run? Absolutely. You know, this week, our approach, you know, going in to the quarterback position was having eye discipline, having great eye discipline and giving our guys a chance. Um, we have really good guys, really good guys around the perimeter. It's so important to give our guys a chance. You know, it's all about seeing the one-on-one -on -one matchups, if it's possible. Also reading the coverages out, having a great eye discipline, holding the safety. And, um, you know, when you have, you know, Ryan, you know, to the field, you know, that's a one-on-one -on -one advantage for, on our end. So it's all about, you know, having eye discipline, reading, reading, the, reading the play properly, and just giving our guy a chance. Were you more impressed with the run after the catch on the touchdown or after the, uh, the big bobble down the, down the field, the first, the first big play? One more time. One more Were you more impressed with Ryan on the big play, the run after the catch on the touchdown, or bobbling the play in the air uh, on, on the big play, the first one? It's hard to say, man. That man is always making the play, <laughs> play on the ball. You know, I just have so much trust in him. You know, when he's out at, out a receiver, 
Um, he's going to do something special with the football, and it's also, um, you know, after the catch, you know, what he can do um, with the football in his hand. So, um, you know, he's just a key resource for us moving forward, and I'm just super happy to have him as my teammate. What was it like leading the offense while you were in flow? Like that in practice? A lot, you know. Um, one thing about Ryan is that he has an approach to constantly grow, constantly have another play and build and stack. And, you know, that's something that has been evident as, you know, he's been here, um, that he's constantly just trying to do what's best for the football team in any way, in any way possible. And he's learned so much being here. And Coach Shep has done a tremendous job with him and the whole room as a whole. And, you know, as we go on this process, it's going to be so important to lean on our coaching staff that's going to put us in position to be successful. Um, i got to give credit to Coach Sheridan um, also because he – was a, you know he was the one that put us in position to have explosive plays, to have the opportunity to um, and make explosive down the field, and so you know I just have to give credit to Coach Sheridan. Um, super happy with the game plan and just the opportunity to just make explosives. What yeah. did you guys? Coach was talking about executing, and when you guys got this win today, to be excited about it, but know this is the expectation. So how do you keep the locker room, you know, celebrating this win, but know you're going to be in a lot of battles like this down the line. Number one, we got to acknowledge that winning in the SEC is very is a very hard task. Um, with that approach, you know we do have to recognize it is a hard task and enjoying the win. I think that's something that we lose focus with at Alabama is the standard of excellence, of course. But you know enjoying the win. You know it, took, it was so much poured into this game we factored into this into this game and to get us you know to get a win is something special. You know that's something we have to appreciate. Something we do have to acknowledge because if we really narrow down the week, we had more practice day than we had a game. And so it was so much poured into this game plan. So number one, we're going to do is acknowledge the win, enjoy it. You know, this is not the end of our road. There's so much more we can do better. As we watch the tape, there's going to be something that we all went back. But we do have to acknowledge that it was a hard task to get a win in the SEC. And you know, to start it off in this way with a bang, and I'm super, super happy with, with the guys' performance. And we're just going to constantly just get better, constantly grow. And just acknowledge that we're not a finished football team and never get complacent. After what did you guys see from down, Georgia? Um, you know, the stadium's going nuts, but you were just holding two fingers in the air, no one's quite worship. So, what was kind of going through your mind, your demeanor in that moment, even as everybody else is going nuts? Now? Game manager. Um, I think that's so important at the quarterback position to be calm, cool, and collected. You know, of course, celebrate. You know, you know, when good plays happen, of course, show your emotion. You know, have fun along the process. But we had another task at hand after the after the touchdown, going for the two-point conversion. And it was so important for the guys to stay poised. And we had another opportunity to you know, score a touchdown, have a conversion. And so it was all about you know, regrouping the guys and acknowledging that we had a hard task, which is getting the two-point conversion. And you know, of course, we had to get the play call. You know, I had to give it to the offensive line, give it to the offense. And so it was all about execution and also just you know, reflecting back to the tool that we um, talked about during the week. What was your experience you like see? watching the defense on their final drive with that, stat, with that stop? I thought that was awesome. I thought that was awesome to see the support system of our fans, number one. Number two, to see all the guys on our football team support the defense. And number three, the execution that they, they put on display for that for that drive. Um, you know, this is we got to acknowledge that Georgia's a really good football team. We played a really good team that has so many areas to their team that makes them special. And we acknowledge that. And, you know, super proud of the commitment level, the discipline that our defense played, um, just finishing the drive, finishing the game, and you know I'm just super proud of them. What, what did you guys see from Georgia that you knew you had a good two-point conversion play? I think when you game plan, you always try to have you know be a problem solver. You know, for all of us, you know, no matter what the coverage is, um, their stunts, blitzes, all that stuff. You know, you want to be a problem solver um, once you have a play. You know, and, and when it came to our play, we had a, a solution to everything that was going to present to us. Kevin, what, did you hear, uh, what did you learn most about your team tonight? Grit, determination, commitment, finish, pride, effort. So many key words that was on display for our football team today. And I'm super proud of them. I'm encouraged by our progress. You know, um, I have so much pride wearing the script day every single Saturday. And the opportunity to be with my teammates is something very special. I do not take that for granted at all. Um, it, was just, it was just a lot of fun. You know, it was a lot of fun just, you know, of course, having our first test in the SEC play. You know, it's going to constantly get better and better and better. But, you know, just to have our first test at home with our great crowd, um, it was amazing. So, you know, it's something we definitely have to 
um, reflect on, you know, see some things that we did really great at, see some things that we didn't do well at, and just constantly just grow as a football team. You got After Jalen Hurts on your shirt. What's the inspo there? Jalen Hurts is a great person to look at when it comes to handling adversity, when it comes to playing that, playing the position. Um, I'm a Texas kid. He's a Texas kid. And he was one of the reasons why I came to the University of Alabama. Um, and, you know, if we look back when Alabama played Georgia, Jalen Hurts stepped into the game, so I wanted to represent him today. Um, if he's out there watching, hey, hey Jalen Hurts. Uh, <laughs> but, no, you know, I, I, I love Jalen Hurts. You know, I think he's a great quarterback, and I just want to represent him today. Thank you. Appreciate sure. you. Thank you.